What's up everybody, it's Chris from Out West with Chris. Today I'm back to do another unboxing. This box is the Outdoor Box Club and this is the introductory box. Just a general disclaimer, I did not pay for this box. So take that for what you will. Whenever I get a box for free, I do try to let you guys know up front whether or not I paid for it. So this is a monthly subscription box. It targets people who you know are outdoorsy folks. Um, in this box, you're going to get a variety of gear. Um, they say four to seven items in every month, and they're going to be, you know, hunting related, possibly fishing related, camping, hiking, just general outdoors gear. The subscription box starts at about 35 bucks a month. If you want to go like a six month plan or a 12 month plan, um, you can get those for a little bit cheaper, a couple bucks less. And I believe that shipping is included in the cost. So that's pretty cool. So this is the introductory box and I'm pretty, pretty excited to see what's inside. No matter when you start your subscription, you will get this box, you'll get the items inside. So let's take a look at what is inside this bright orange outdoor box club box. Okay. That's pretty cool. So you get some um, banded ear plugs for shooting. So it's a good idea when you go shooting to, you know, put ear plugs in. And these are from Howard Light. I have some of the Howard Light um, ear earmuffs, the electronic kind, and they work really good. So that's a brand that I'm aware of. I've never used these before, but they're pretty standard, you know. Um, they're ear plugs that are banded. So pretty cool. I don't know if there's a contents card or anything like that. I don't know if this company puts a puts one of those in. But here is an item from Hunter Specialties, and this is a game bag. You can fit a whole um, deer in here. It might work for an elk quarter. Um, this is from Hunter Specialties, and I got uh, an item from them in a different box, and I was pretty pleased with the quality of that item. So. Hopefully this is pretty good quality. Let's see what type of material we're dealing with here. It's a woven bag. It's not one of those really stretchy kinds. Um, so a lot of times these are reusable. Yeah, that's a big bag. That's pretty cool. It looks to be pretty thick. If you're always worried about, you know, a little bit of dirt going through your bags, you can always double bag them. This is a pretty big bag. You could definitely fit a whole skin deer in here. So you could fit easily an elk quarter in here. So nice big bag. You got uh, some more, another item from Hunter Specialties and this is like a, a wet wipe that helps take face paint camouflage off. So you get 30 wipes in one of these little containers. I don't do the whole camel thing when I go hunting. My beard does enough camouflaging for my, my face. <laughs> I don't know why I, I've never done camouflage hunting. I don't bow hunt, so a lot of bow hunters will put camouflage on to break up that profile of their face because you know you gotta be really close to an animal in order to, to bow hunt. Man, I am still feeling under the weather. Okay, you get some eye protection. So just some standard shooting glasses. And you know, those are actually pretty comfortable. Sometimes shooting glasses are not so comfortable or working glasses, that type of thing. And this type of glass, you know, you can use these glasses when you're shooting. You could use them when you're working in your shop on something, if you're a woodworker or, you know, if you're just working in your shop on something, you want to have some eye protection. So you know, nothing flies back and um, gets in your eye or anything like that. So, pretty cool. Okay, you also get uh, another set of foam earplugs. These are Howard Lights as well. I kind of like this style over the hard banded. Um, I don't know why, but I kind of like this style. You get some bug band insect repellent. And it looks like this is a Two, yeah, these are towelettes. These are deep free. So something like this, you can just take out a towelette, wipe it over, um, exposed skin. 
And this is nice because it's really low profile, lightweight. So it looks like it's kind of like a sample pack, but that's cool. You know, you could stick something like this in your, in your day pack. I could stick something like this in my PFD and you know, if I'm out on the water in my kayak fishing and the mosquitoes start to get, you know, riled up, I could always wipe this around on my neck, face, um, arms and that type of thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, you get a little climate pillow or seat. This is similar to one I got in a battle box and it's just a little seat. You can throw this in your um, day pack. That's actually a big seat. That's way bigger than the one that was in the, the battle box. Okay, so you can just inflate these and you can take them with you backpacking, hiking, um, whatever you're doing in the outdoors and, you know, use it to sit down on. Um, you can double it up, use it as a pillow. So these are kind of cool. I like some of the, the climate gear. This is the climate cush. It's a cush for your tush. Um, so these are pretty cool. I just sit down on a log usually. And my butt seems to be okay. But the nice thing about this climate gear, um, and if you've never dealt with climate gear before is they're so easy to make compact. Like you can just climate. I like climate gear. Um, I got some, a climate pillow, the climate cush and a sleeping pad and a, and a, another box recently. And I've been pretty happy with those. Okay. These are archery targets. I'm sure you could use these for other stuff as well. These are called dart bag archery targets. And this one has a deer on it. He's a, a little deer, but he's a deer. These are 18 by 18 and they're full color peel and stick target covers. So, you know, you can take your archery, um, what are they, are they considered bags or, you know, the, the targets that kind of stand up on their own um, and peel this off and stick it right on it. So that's pretty cool. I don't know how many there are, um, but you could use this as well for, um, target shooting if you're shooting a rifle too. Hell, your kids could use it if they're shooting a BB gun, whatever. But some of these look pretty cool. They have dart boards and you know, just different games you can play when you're you know, doing your target shooting for archery or, or rifle or whatever, whatever. You know, you can do it for a variety of different stuff, but this is made for archery. We got a big freaking sticker. Dang. That's a big sticker. That's a pretty cool sticker. I'm gonna stick this on one of my tubs. But yeah, that's a, a big sticker. I like their logo. I look at logos quite a bit. Um, I don't know why. I'm always interested in what people do with their logos. And this is a pretty cool one. I like it. Okay, in the box as well, a promo code 15% off of your purchase from the folks at Raptor Razor. The big item in the box is from Raptor Razor, and this is a Mako precision cutting knife. That's pretty cool. Um, I've seen the Raptor Razor, the, the, the hook claw thingy. Let me see. The big game skinner. I've seen YouTube videos of people using that to skin and, and to gut and skin game. Um, and I was pretty impressed with it. I haven't used any of these, but this looks like a pretty cool tool. Um, let's see if we can get it open and, and see what this is all about. Maybe I should keep that on while I'm putting it on. <laughs> How a lot of their products are used is they have this handle that comes um, non, not attached, uh, but it's easy to attach them. And this is how you're supposed to hold the, the, the item, the knife, when you're skinning. Same with the Raptor Razor Big Game Skinner. It's just that nasty, you know, uh, gnarly hook that comes down. Y you hold them like this. I think they make another item that might be a saw, but that's pretty cool. I, uh, yeah, man, that is sharp. I've been pretty impressed with the YouTube videos that I've seen from Raptor Razor on their products. So I'm pretty stoked to have this and 
to have it available to try out um, next fall when I go hunting again. I might, you know, try it out on some other stuff just to test it before then. The, I don't know if you noticed, but they come with a built-in screwdriver in the handle. And also included in the box were, was this, and I think this is a, a Mylar sealed extra blade. So these blades come off, you know, not easily, like it's not gonna fall off, but there's a little screw right here. You can sit your screwdriver in, unscrew it, and then you'll be able to put a replacement blade in and that's kind of nice. You can have a nice sharp blade waiting for you in case this one doles out while you're skinning uh, a deer or an elk. So that's pretty neat. These are, you know, this is kind of a new product, the Raptor Razor, as far as, you know, not super new. Um, they've been out for a while, but, you know, a newer design um, for game processing. And it would take me a while to get used to um, working with this handle like this, but the concept is pretty cool and it, it fits pretty naturally and I'm guessing that this would help reduce fatigue in your hands and that type of stuff when you're, when you're skinning a big animal. Really glad that this was in the box. I, I think this is a pretty cool item. Pretty stoked about it. So one of my pet peeves with subscription boxes and this is kind of the negative for me on this box, is you don't get a packing list. Now, whether or not there's $35 worth of gear here, I, I think that there is. These, I don't know how much they retail for, but if it's less than $15, I would be surprised. Um, these retail for around $12 to $15, so that's 30 bucks right there. And with all the other stuff, like the game bag, this Target, um, you know, the earplugs, you know, just all this other stuff, you're well over $35. So there's that. So if this looks like the type of gear that you're interested in that would make you happy in a subscription box, then I think Outdoor Club could be a, a good option for you. Um, I am going to be reviewing one other box and that video will be up in about a week. Um, it would be their January box. So um, after that, I don't know, I might uh, keep keep going with the subscription box, we'll see. So just a heads up, I am gonna give away some of this stuff, but what I wanna do is I wanna give it away with some of the items in the January box. So just one nice big box, right? And I think that would be cool. I will let you know right now, I have doubles on a lot of this stuff. And on some of the stuff, it's not bad to have doubles, but because it's doubles for me, I'm probably gonna give some of this stuff away. I can tell you right off the bat, I'm not going to use this. So this will be an item that does go in the giveaway. And I'm thinking, I don't know, I can't decide on the, the targets. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to watch my next Outdoor Box Club unboxing. I'll announce the giveaway, how you need to participate, and all of that fun stuff. That video should be up at the end of next week. Uh, interesting box. I see a lot of promise here. And I know that the owner is going to SHOT Show um, next week, so I'm sure he's gonna be networking with uh, some other uh, manufacturers and companies and brands, and hopefully, you know, from that meeting, he can make some good alliances and kind of continue to build on what he's got going here. Um, the owner seems like a really good guy. I've chatted with him via email. He's actually local to me. Um, you know, doesn't live too far away, so that's pretty cool and actually drop the boxes off. I didn't get to meet him, but dropped them off on my doorstep. All right, everybody, that wraps it up for me. If you're interested in getting in on the giveaway, make sure you subscribe so you can be notified when uh, the giveaway video is posted here in about a week. I'm gonna have links to Outdoor Box Club, their website, Facebook, that type of stuff in the description down below, so be sure to check them out. And if you like this video, please click that thumbs up button. Um, I really appreciate it when you guys do. If you have anything you want to add to the discussion, feel free to do so in the comment section below. As always, thanks for getting out with us.